tepidus mare. Here, we found a warm, primordial world that held great promise. After observing the stable temperature and richness of life, we landed by a series of undersea vents that formed a vertical equator around the entire planet. This boundless source of energy sustained Twelve in the Dome as we made plans for colonization. In time, we learned that this world was populated by large amoebic organisms that possessed a very different intelligence than our own. Perhaps they attempted to communicate with us. Perhaps they understood our intentions. Perhaps not. They were gentle to our vessel, but swiftly destroyed our early attempts to build on the seafloor. In the last of these encounters, 12-9 was badly injured and had to be completely restored. Not long afterward, we abandoned Tepidus Mare. Secretly, I was pleased. On Earth, I was born on the land. My most vivid memories were of the land and though half the crew was from the land as well. They did not remember, and held no attachment to that life.